So it's not clickbait, the title to this video is absolutely true. Keep watching. So hello and welcome to another video and to another organ. Today I am at Skidding Grove Methodist Church, which is right on the coast in the northeast of England, not too far from Saltburn. And I'm here to look at this two manual tracker action organ. This church has recently closed. I think it closed in August 2023. And hopefully you can see about now that this church is now completely empty. Uh, the interior has been removed, however the organ remains and the people of this church are desperate to find a good home for this organ. This organ is completely free of charge. It would be awful to see this organ scrapped and used as firewood I suppose. So it would be so lovely if you are interested to, to watch this video right to the end and I'll give as much information about it as I can. So let's have a look at the organ. So this organ was built in approximately 1910 by Nelson and Co who were uh, Durham based organ builders. As already mentioned this is a two manual tracker action organ and it really is in good condition. It's been maintained for many many years it still remains in pretty good tune and in good working condition. It's a lovely looking organ with lovely decorated pipes to the front. I don't know for definite, but I suspect that these front pipes are part of the open diapason on the grate. To the side, there are some fake pedal looking pipes and also access to the inside of the organ for the tuner and for maintenance. And there's also still a hand pump which is still uh, operative. However, this organ is operated by an electric blower. So without further ado, let's have a look at some of the stops. Or all of the stops actually. So here on the great organ, the stops are to the right and the, this is the bottom manual. Starting at the bottom, we have an eight foot open diapason. We have a string, we have an eight foot Dulciana. We have an eight foot hall flute. We have a four foot harmonic flute. and a four foot principle or tuning stop. And just to clarify, all the doors work, so that's brilliant. Also to the right here we have the pedal organ, just one stop. As you would expect, we have a 16 foot Borden. Manual, we start off with an eight foot viol celeste. A Vox Angelica eight foot. A 
An eight foot lead like a duct. A four foot gems horn. A two foot piccolo. To add that brightness during him playing, I always think it's important and it's nice that it has that on as well. And a reed, we have an eight foot oboe. And a tremulant. Quite a noisy tremulant, but it's quite effective. We have four couplers to the left here also. We have a great to pedal, a swell to great, a swell to pedal, and a swell super octave. Again, which would add that, add that brightness. Overall, for a small organ of this age and this era, a lovely set of stops and they really do sound nice. I'm not sure this video will give it justice, but I can assure you it really does sound nice. Moving down to the pedal board, as usual, we have a concave pedal board. Uh, we have four combination pedals. I assume, yes, both operate the stops on the grate. And we have a centralised balance swell pedal. So just to conclude this video and just to uh, repeat what I've already said actually, this organ, uh, the, the people of this church are very keen to, to preserve this organ and for it to go to a good home that might be a, it might be a school, it might be another church, it might be an organ enthusiast. Um, but it is important to stress that uh, this organ is going completely free. Obviously the only cost would be to dismantle the organ and to move it to its new home. But I hope you would agree that it would be such a shame to see this organ scrapped. It has so much life left in it. It's been loved and it's been played for over a hundred years. You'll find contact details in the description below. There's an email address for a gentleman called Martin who's been kind enough to let me into the church today. And please feel free to contact him for more information. But please do share this video, please give it a like, please hit the subscribe button, and please help me and the people of this church to find this organ a new home. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.